Hi again, everybody. We're going to spend a second day talking about solving exponential equations, but our focus is going to be a little bit different today. Today the goal is I can solve exponential equations by taking the log of both sides. So if you remember, there are two types of ways to solve exponential equations. One way is when you're able to make the bases the same. That was the kind of problem we had yesterday. Um, today, we're looking at when we're not able to make the bases the same, so we need to take the log of both sets. We're going to start by talking about the change of base formula. So the change of base formula is when we're able to take a log and we can rewrite it like this. So we can rewrite it as the log or the ln, which is just the natural log of the number given, which is the bigger number, over the log of the base, which is that little number there. So this is the way it works. Just easiest to kind of see an example here. Um, if I have, uh, let me just move this up a little bit here, the log of eight to the base of five, I can rewrite it like this. Log of 8, and put it over log of 5. Now when you do this in your calculator, what you want to make sure you do is hit log of 8, and then put enter in there so it calculates that number out, and then divide by log of 5. All right, enter. So if you try that, you should get 1, 0.292. Uh, and for your answers, go out three digits, please. Just to look at another one, I could do the log, or for that matter, if it said ln, and we'll have uh, problems like that in a little bit. But if it said ln, we would do the same thing. Uh, this time it does say log, so we can take log of 9 over log of 26. So again, log of 9, hit enter, divide by log of 26, and if we round out three digits, we get 0.674. Alright, so now we're going to try some problems. So, if you look at this problem, you can see we can't come up with a common base this time. There's no way that we can rewrite 11 as 4 to some power. So we have to do it a little bit differently. So the rules are kind of on the right. Uh, step 0 is you just want to make sure the base raised to the exponent is by itself first, which it is. 4 raised to the x is by itself. And we'll have some later on where it's not by itself. Um, then we're going to change to logarithmic form. What that means is we're going to take the log of 4 raised to the x, and we're going to take the log of 11, right? If we do it to the left side, do it to the right side, should be a fair game. Now, if we do use that change of base formula that we talked about a few days ago, we can take that x and put it in front. Okay? So now we have x times log of 4 equals log of 11. Um, we're going to divide both sides by log of 4. And now you can enter this into your calculator. So again, log of 11, hit enter, divide by log of 4, and we're going to round out three digits after the decimal, 1.730. Okay, so remember we said that step zero is make sure that the number raised to the exponent is by itself. Well, three raised to x plus seven is not by itself. So we're gonna get it by itself by raising both sides, or I'm sorry, adding four to both sides. Blocks here. Okay, I'm going to maybe stop correcting myself 
<laughs> so much there. We'll take the log of both sides. And once again, what that allows us to do is use that exponent rule that any exponent can be brought down in front. I'm going to put it in parentheses just because it's two terms. Okay, um, now something I could do is I could calculate the log of 3 right now and calculate the log of 20, 24. But then I have two messy decimals, which is kind of a pain, because then I have a messy decimal on the left, messy decimal on the right. I'd rather put my messy decimals together, do that part first. So I'm going to do log of 24, hit enter, divided by log of 3. And we get 2.893. And now we can finish solving for x. So I'm going to minus 7 from both sides. 2.893 minus 7 is negative 4.107. Okay, so a little tip there is, I'm just going to say tip. Put logs Together when possible. Okay, so if you notice what's different about this is we have a base of E. We're still going to do the same steps. We're still going to get whatever the number is because remember E is 2.714, it's just a number, kind of like pi is 3.14. We're going to get it by itself. So it's by itself. Now this time, instead of taking the log of both sides, we're going to take the natural log. Honestly, we could take the log of both sides and change e to the value of 2.7, etc. Um, but usually what we do is we take the natural log. Exactly the same way, it's just you're going to punch a different button here. So we bring down the 2x, and we divide both sides by natural log of e. Okay. So, I just want to remind you that natural log of E, or tell you, natural log of E is just 1. So, you can put natural log of 29, hit enter, divide by natural log of 2.714, hit enter. But you're going to get the same thing as if you just do natural log of 29, because natural log of E is 1. So, I'll write that out. This is the same thing as natural log of 29. When we hit natural log of 29, we get 3.369. Finish solving for x. Okay. So, the note I'm going to make here is with e. natural log of both sides. All right. Um, that is basically it. I'm going to do a couple more examples. Um, let's try this one. Here again, uh, whatever, whatever the base is raised to the exponent, it's not by itself. This is what we want by itself, e raised to the exponent. 
So I need to get rid of the 5 and the minus 7. So just remember that step 0. Just to get that by itself. And now that's looking a lot better. Because we have a base of E, we're going to take the natural log of both sides. Again, that makes that come down. And really, at this point, that natural log could just disappear because this is just a 1. So, negative 3x is equal to a natural log of 4. Natural log of 4 is 1.386. We'll divide both sides by negative 3. And we get negative 0.462. All right? Do one last one, just to talk about one other thing here. Um, so this time I have exponents on both sides. Okay? So I just wanted to look at one of those. The process is the same. I'm going to take the log of both sides. Which means the exponents come down. Okay, and now the comment I want to make is, is goes back to trying to get those messy decimals together because log of 5 is a messy decimal, log of 4 is a messy decimal. So I can either divide both sides by log of 5 now or I can divide both sides by uh, log of 4. Um, this is what I suggest. Notice if I divide by log of 5, on the right side I'm going to get a messy decimal that I now have to distribute. So if I divide by log of 4 on both sides, then my right side is just left with x plus 2. And my left side, if I do log of 5, hit enter, divide by log of 4, I get 1.161. So just uh, kind of one messy decimal there to deal with. It's not a big deal if you divide both sides by log of 5 and you get the des messy decimal on the right. It's just you have a messy decimal to distribute. Not a huge deal, but it's just a little cleaner um, if you think of a way that you can deal with that a little bit less. Okay, I'm going to solve for x. So I'm minusing 1x from both sides. So 1.161 minus 1 is, of course, 0.161. Five, both sides by 0 0.161, 0 0.161, and we get 12.422. All right. So this is your homework, the 11B worksheet. And there is an answer key included in the folder as well. All right? Good luck.